Welcome to Bootjake English for Teens. I'm Camille Fujisaki. And I'm Sean Connolly. Let's get started by watching today's skit. Becca, I didn't know you had a little sister. How did you know? We look nothing alike. What? She is your mini me. Hey, I'm my own person. Sorry, forget I said anything. Hmm. They're exactly the same. Aww, Becca's sister is so cute. She is very similar to Becca. For sure. Although, Becca seems to be in denial. As she said, we look nothing alike. Alike is a word which means similar and can be used to describe or compare both nouns and verbs. Exactly. In the skit, the word alike was describing how the two girls look. But you can use alike to make direct comparisons between multiple people or things, as in, Becca and her sister are very alike. Let's try a few examples. Repeat after us. You and your father are a lot alike. You and your sister are nothing alike. Ambulances and police cars sound very alike. My professor and I think very alike. By the way, Sean, I've always thought that you and Hava are very alike. Really? Why is that? Oh, wait, let me guess. We are both so great at our jobs. Actually, I was going to say that you are both so very, um, unique. Thanks. Our Moteon point for today is about how to pronounce the sound hm. This is a sound that is used to show annoyance or indignation. It is usually made with the mouth closed and a forceful push of air through the nose. Hm. Mia made this sound as a reaction to David calling her Becca's mini me. So I guess we can infer that she wasn't very happy about that. No. I don't think so. It is not a reaction that is used when you are very happy about something. In fact, let's take a look at some other situations where someone might react with, hmm. If your mother had told you to study before a test, but then you didn't, and then you failed, she might say, hmm. I told you so. Or if you had just finished an argument with your friend, and they had very reluctantly apologized to you, instead of accepting their apology, you might say, hmm. By the way, Sean, remember how I lent you my dictionary last month? Can I have it back? I want to use it next week. Oh, yeah, right, about that. Um, I spilled coffee on it. What? That is my favorite dictionary. How could you do something like that? Why didn't you tell me sooner? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I know I messed up, but I already ordered you another one. It'll arrive next Monday. I was hoping you wouldn't notice. <laughs> well, that's all for today. Be sure to try these phrases out, and don't forget to have fun. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and give us a like. See, See you, you next time. time.